How catastrophic will tennis be without the rivalry of Rafael Nadal, Roger Federer, and Novak Djokovic? In today's video, we are going to talk about the reasons why it is possible that the big three will be replaced in the near future, as well as the stars that we envision taking over for these legends, paving the way for a new era in the world of tennis. The big three of tennis have held their positions as the three best players in the game's history for quite some time and continue to rule the sport with grace and exceptionality. Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, and Novak Djokovic are undoubtedly the three greatest players in the world of tennis right now. For those who aren't well versed in the sport, this may come as a surprise. However, it shouldn't, because who doesn't know or haven't heard of the extraordinary big three of tennis? Since the start of the Open Era in 1968, the sport of tennis has seen significant transformations. It is possible that the past two decades, particularly the men's singles competitions, were the most successful in the history of tennis. Collectively, the three players have dominated the men's singles competition for close to 20 years. During this time, they have won a combined total of 63 Grand Slams, with Nadal having 22, Djokovic having 21, and Federer having 20 titles respectively. This is nothing short of incredible. Their influence on tennis is readily apparent in both the sport and their achievements, as evidenced by the fact that they have held the number one ranking for a combined 892 consecutive weeks and that they have occupied the top three positions in the years 2007, 2011, 2014, 2018, and 2019. For eight years, they completely controlled every aspect of the game. The emergence of tennis's big three in the 1990s brought about an increase in the level of competition in the sport. Additionally, the big three were responsible for the sport's meteoric rise in popularity thanks to their extraordinary play and countless records. Since 2003, spectators have had the opportunity to see the excellence of Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, and Novak Djokovic and have marveled at the sight of seeing them do what they most likely know and have shown how to do best. After capturing his first Grand Slam title in 2003, Roger Federer was the first of the big three to achieve widespread recognition and notoriety. The next year, he went on to win yet another Grand Slam tournament. Federer remained consistent on the court throughout his whole career up until 2019, when he was forced to retire due to a number of injuries. In point of fact, this man's era has come to an end. In recent years, Federer has all but disappeared from the ATP Tour. He has only participated in a select few tournaments, and for the time, in more than 20 years, he was barely ranked anywhere on the ATP rankings. This is really shocking, seeing as how he had dominated those rankings in previous years. As a result of his knee injury, he has been sidelined from competition since Wimbledon 2021. Although he has every intention of competing in the 2022 Laver Cup as his final match ever, Federer made the announcement that he was retiring from the sport on September 15, 2022, with the intention of winning his farewell match with Rafael Nadal. Unfortunately, the duo lost in the doubles match. Federer definitely seemed to enjoy the last match of his career, alongside his friend and rival. On the other hand, Rafael Nadal has been a bright star ever since he made his debut. But ever since he won his first Grand Slam in 2005, he has been even brighter. Since he started playing, he has conducted himself with dignity and has been generous with both his talents and his resources to the game. He has a total of 92 career titles under his belt, including 22 Grand Slams. Also, he is the person who holds the record for the most Grand Slam victories in the ATP. Nadal has been instrumental in the establishment of a number of tennis academies, the purpose of which is to instruct aspiring tennis players in the fundamentals of the game, so that they may one day join the ranks of the greatest players in the history of the sport. Carlos Alcaraz is one of the students he has taught. His tutelage is glaring in the life of the young star that has been compared to Nadal on multiple occasions and has proven to be a worthy successor to the King of Clay. However, one has to wonder how much longer Nadal will be able to maintain such a strong presence in the sport. He has had a significant number of injuries over the course of his career. For how much longer can he continue to subject himself to the strain of undergoing surgery? In addition to his injuries, he has his age working in his favor as well. The tennis player who is 36 years old 
still has some years to continue his career, but the truth is that his age, in combination with his ongoing struggles with injury, will be a force against him, as it will most likely cause him to fall behind. And who knows, maybe he'll be forced to take a step back like the legend Roger Federer. At this time, Nadal holds the third spot on the ATP rankings, making him the only one amongst the big three who has been in the top three position for a very long time. Djokovic, in contrast to Nadal and Federer, did not join the big three until a later year. In 2008, he ended the duo's run of 11 consecutive victories at major championships, and by 2010, he had separated himself from the other players to take his place among the top three. During his whole career on the court, he has amassed an impressive win-loss record. He has held the number one spot for a total of 373 weeks and has finished as number one seven different times. Given the amount of competitions he has won and the fact that he has triumphed over some of the sport's most accomplished competitors, he is widely regarded as one of the sport's all-time greats. Well deserved, if you ask me. Aside from the fact that he has chosen not to get the COVID vaccine this year, he still has the majority of the odds working in his favor. This year has been a bit off for him due to his refusal to take the vaccine. However, even though Novak is only a year younger than Nadal, he is widely regarded as one of the most physically fit athletes in the history of the sport. Djokovic is currently ranked number 7 on the ATP singles rankings. Still impressive, considering the hunger being shown by younger and upcoming players in the sport now. In just under 20 years, it will be the first time in nearly two decades that the Big Three will not be at the top of the tennis world rankings. It shouldn't come as much of a surprise that the rankings have been disrupted due to the influx of new youthful talent that has entered the game. And as the conclusion of their playing careers draws near, fans all across the world are beginning to wonder who will be able to carry on with the legacy of the Big Three. Young stars like Carlos Alcaraz, Daniel Medvedev, Yannick Sinner, Alexander Zverev, and Stefano Tsitsipas have been dominating the world of tennis as of late. This goes on and on. In 2018, Carlos Alcaraz made his professional debut and has since gone on to win six career titles and one Grand Slam title in 2018. In the 2022 Madrid Open, Alcaraz won the quarterfinal match against Rafael Nadal and the semifinal match against Novak Djokovic. It was hardly an easy accomplishment as no other player had ever beaten both Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic in consecutive matches on clay courts during the same tournament before. Medvedev and Zarev, on the other hand, are two other youngsters who have displayed a tremendous deal of potential thus far in the season. Before Djokovic retook the top spot earlier this year, Medvedev held it for a few weeks earlier in the year. Alexander Zverev was on track to achieve a career-high position of number two. Unfortunately, Zverev will be sidelined for an extended period of time as a result of an injury he sustained to his right ankle at the French Open. It's obvious that this does not mean that Djokovic and Nadal will no longer be able to dominate the sport in any way. Although they might not find themselves at the top of the list this year, they might do so the following year, despite the fact that it's surely getting harder for them to accomplish this goal in the future. As much as their presence will be missed, it will be nice to have a fresh breath of new faces who can take the game to another level and give us another exciting decade. No doubt, these youngsters are definitely living up to the task as they have deprived the big three a chance to be in a top spot they have dominated for a long time. It's nice to see that changes are coming in the world of tennis, just like other sports which have had a few players dominate the scene in a long while. Tennis isn't left out. The likes of Nada, Federer, and Djokovic will always be remembered for their impact in the game. And although there are debates as regards which of them is the GOAT, it is without a shred of doubt safe to say that each of them is worthy to be called the greatest of all time. But forget my opinion, who do you think deserves the title amongst the big three? Let us know what you think in the comment section below.